Unit 9, Security and Scale of Production. First, we'll talk a little about security in this unit. And for the purposes of this unit, security means the physical security of the location, the crops, the tools, and the equipment, as opposed to the food security uh, that we've mentioned before. This is actual physical security. Urban locations have many advantages over rural locations when it comes to agriculture. Uh, low or no transportation costs, closer relationships between producers and consumers, educational opportunities, and more. All of those things that we've been talking about. However, one area where urban locations may not have an advantage is in security. Urban locations are often very exposed, and crops and equipment are in view from the streets and sidewalks and neighboring properties. In urban locations, the greater concentration of people just naturally means that in that group of people, there's probably someone more likely, to incli more likely inclined to cause problems. So what are the types of security um, that we can employ? There's categories of security, um, starting with deterrence. And as the name implies, these things deter vandals or thieves. And some examples are warning signs, no trespassing signs, lighting, which makes vandals and thieves visible, and guard dogs, that sort of thing. Um, you can limit physical access. Um, typically that involves fences and locks, gates, that sort of thing. Um, or you can have a physical response, which generally starts with an alarm system that triggers a response from security people or law enforcement personnel. So we'll talk about what are some of the issues with each of these types of security um, and how we might be able to utilize security to make our sites safer. Um, so warning and no trespassing signs, for instance, are only effective against people who probably wouldn't cause problems anyway. Um, curious people who might walk through your agricultural site, take a look at things, um, will probably stay away if there are no trespassing signs, but someone intent on causing trouble is probably going to ignore the sign. Um, fences cost money to install and maintain. A uh, fence can be unsightly, and you may be limited by local ordinances. A lot of ordinances limit the height of fences um, from what's called the front building line toward the street. A lot of municipalities have a limit on a fence height in those areas of uh, three feet. Um, and a three-foot fence isn't going to do much to keep people out. Um, guard dogs can also be expensive. They can incur liability if someone is injured by the dog. Um, they need to be contained by fencing. They need to be taken care of. And uh, so there's some costs involved there. Lighting also costs money to install, to maintain, and to operate. Um, and alarm systems can be expensive, not necessarily, but if you're trying to secure, say, a large field, then costs go up. Um, they require a source of power of some sort, and if triggered accidentally, they can be costly because most municipalities um, that send police in response to, a, to an alarm only allow, <clears throat> pardon me, one false alarm per month. And beyond that, they begin charging for response to false alarms. So how can we secure our equipment and our produce? Well, equipment and supplies might be secured by taking them off site. For instance, using a trailer, storing them in a trailer, and then removing that trailer from the site each night to a more secure location. Um, you could also secure those items 
by locking them in a building or a shed on site, provided that building or shed can be made secure. Um, the crops that you're growing can only really be secured by limiting access to the site. There's not much else you can do. You can't remove them from the site each day and bring them back. So you have to keep people off of the site. Um, and vandals can still cause problems even if they can't access the site itself. Um, you know, they can do damage to the fencing. They can um, vandalize the exterior areas. Um, there have been cases of people, uh, for instance, uh, spraying insecticide over fencing or through fencing into beehives and that sort of thing. So even people kept out can still cause occasional problems. So in summary, some type of security, even very basic security, is probably required for most urban farming sites, um, with the possible exception of rooftop farms where access would have to be through the building and uh, existing security. Um, and a determined person can still cause problems regardless of security measures in place, but good security can limit issues. Um, we'll discuss some of the solutions to these issues in a later unit. But for now, one thing we can say is that usually multifaceted security is best, something that combines multiple things. You may have uh, fencing and an alarm system. You have, may have signage and lighting. Um, things that are combinations uh, typically work best. That ends part one of this unit's presentation.